On the west coast of Africa, a beautiful land lies between Guinea and Liberia, Sierra Leone. Its capital, Freetown, is famous for its hills, breathtaking white sand beaches, swampy coastal plains, plateaus, and overall biodiversity that exists along its peninsula. However, this beautiful land faces multiple risks from climate change that threatens key economic sectors, its environment, and survival of its people. Over the last two decades, Freetonians have witnessed firsthand the escalating tale of destruction in the wake of floodings, mudslides, increasing temperatures, rising sea levels, loss in biodiversity, and other extreme weather conditions. These laws and damages from climate change could push Freetonians far beyond their ability to adapt. Yet, from the ashes of our struggles, a new generation of young entrepreneurial leaders is finding new and improved solutions to combat climate change from the local level, using a global perspective. I am Jeremiah Thorka, an alumni and founding class member of the prestigious African Leadership University, a Commonwealth scholar at Durham University pursuing a Master of Science degree in Sustainability, Energy and Development. And I was recently awarded the inaugural Chef.org Global Student Prize. Growing up in post Town, Freetown, firewood and charcoal were the most common lighting and cooking energy source available. Photochemical smog, a harmful consequence of burning coal, caused respiratory problems among my peers and air pollution. Though access to energy has been widely recognized as a significant goal for economic and social development, its access could only be afforded by a few. Finding myself in this situation turned me into an innovation devotee. In 2014, with my schoolmate from Centennial Secondary School, we formed the Mipak Scientist, borrowing the name from our school football field. We went on to develop a mini hydrogen windmill dam and the first Internet of Things device built in Sierra Leone, the automatic call and Bluetooth device. Ever since, I have been fascinated by the development of new and improved energy systems policy, research, and how locally built sustainable solutions can be used to solve the most pressing challenges in our local communities. Over time, I have observed many of CLN's most revolutionary climate solutions with tremendous potential to solve our country's growing climate issues and led by regular young people we see every day on the streets, classrooms, and playgrounds around Freetown. Though many of you may have never engaged any, a conversation will sweep you off your feet due to their persistence, mindset, passion, and how they consistently critically identify these problems and develop solutions. Meet Haja Aisatuba. Haja owns Woman for Woman, a social enterprise with a mission to end period poverty and improve economic opportunities for young women and and girls by providing them with access to reusable, accessible, locally made, and sustainable sanitary parts. But access to resources and low public education on eco-friendly products have been a major challenge. Here is Alaji Sirajwa. Alaji is the founder of Worksal Trading a company producing handcrafted paper bags and briquettes on sawdust for cooking. However, even as a young, eco-friendly pioneer developing eco-friendly product, access to financing has been a major challenge preventing him from scaling up the solution. And finally, meet Emmanuel Ali Mansari. Emmanuel is a self-taught engineer and innovator who have shown the tremendous talent and potential that exists within Freetown. Emmanuel developed a solar car that could be used 
in ending pollution from transportation and in making Freetown greener. But he has failed to scale this solution to compete on the global stage. Due to the challenges of obtaining patency that will protect his innovation and other system-wide challenges of setting up an enterprise and attracting investment in Freetown. These entrepreneurs are a cross-section of young people leading our climate action in energy, transportation, conservation, agriculture, education, etc. These and many more entrepreneurial ventures are leading our strive to solve climate change in Freetown. Unfortunately, these entrepreneurs who call Freetown home and could potentially launch a climate revolution that will bring our city to the forefront of climate action solutions operating in a challenging environment. They face limited support to prototype and scale up their climate actions, limited access to financial resources, an environment that fails to provide skills and tools to drive innovative climate actions, and fewer opportunities to scale up their entrepreneurial ventures compared to counterpart entrepreneurs from other countries and regions. The recent report from Africa Arena shows the record-breaking investment that African startups were able to generate in 2021, with a strong projection from the current $2.25 billion to about $10 billion by 2025. Nigeria and Kenya continues to be the dominant hotspot for African startup investment with $307 million and $305 million respectively. Do not get comfortable. More needs to be done. More needs to be done in making sure that investment is directed to entrepreneurs with climate action on the continent. Being an entrepreneur and scholar, I can authoritatively tell you the battle can only be won to save our city, country, and planet if entrepreneurs are engaged as partners. Our entrepreneurial effort and progress solidify our role in developing solutions that society can use to achieve low emission and climate resilient sustainable development. The existing challenges hindering our progress are not insurmountable. The battle can be won if we collectively fashion an institutional framework that prioritizes improving entrepreneurs' access to skills, capital, and market. This will largely be consistent with what most economists claim should be conducive for entrepreneurship. We should take steps to establish climate action financing programs in our banks and enhancing access to credit. Secondly, improving on property rights. Thirdly, streamlining the process of setting up an enterprise. Furthermore, developing a business plan competition designed to identify and support entrepreneurs with climate action solutions with business skills and training. And finally, incorporating entrepreneurship teaching across all national curriculum. This supportive context will provide a platform for small and medium enterprise formation in tech, education, agriculture, tourism, etc. The challenges that we're seeking to address with Transform Free Town goes beyond environmental and sanitary difficulties, as they are only the symptoms. These are the exact words of our worship, the mayor of Free Town, Yvonne Akisoya OBE. She challenged us, as young people, to transform Freetown and our nation. As entrepreneurs, we have taken up this challenge, as we know we are a powerful force against climate change. We bring ideas to life. We reiterate the reinvention of carbon intense systems in use. We model consumer consumption behavior by bringing new and improved technologies and systems and we promote efficient resource use and management. But why is it hard to embrace entrepreneurs with climate action solutions? 
the climate battle can only be won by bringing us entrepreneurs to the table, giving us the resources and platforms, and seeing what we can do and contribute. If us entrepreneurs cannot solve this climate crisis, only a few can. I bet you see that now.